you. Thank you so much. I want to, oh, oh, hi. <laughs> Didn't think I'd see you here tonight. <laughs> All right, well, here's to you, all the folks out there. <laughs> Welcome to this wonderful affair. <laughs> I do declare. <laughs> and happy birthday, Barbara. <laughs> you really are uh, the best. <laughs> That's from the chest or the heart or whatever. <laughs> all right, can we... Can we cut the music? Can we cut the music? Thank you. Um, listen, before we get too far, uh, I'd like to take a moment to get serious. Um, I know we're here to have a good time. It's not like I don't get that, you know. But I just want to clear something up. Um, in the past, people have often accused me of lip syncing. Lip -syncing. <laughs> not really being present in the moment, but just sort of mouthing words that have been pre-recorded. And they've said things like, Oh, he's lip-syncing. Uh, this isn't even real. He's a jerk. And he's a phony. And, you know, like, whatever. Who cares? So I just want to be clear and assure you that this is live. I'm not lip-syncing. It's me talking, talking. And frankly, speaking live in front of a large group of people, well, it really does up the ante. And the best thing to up your ante is your uncle. <laughs> I, I told myself I wasn't going to tell that joke. And bingo! Your uncle. <laughs> I came here to entertain, and that's so what I'm gonna do. <laughs> right, now listen, you gotta stop laughing. Come on, come on, people, get yourselves together. <laughs> if you stop laughing, then I'll stop laughing. Now come on, Jesus, stop it. <laughs> all right, all right, stop it. Come on, stop it, stop it. God damn it. <laughs> People are acting nuts. Ser seriously. Anyway, we're here today for two reasons. <laughs> One um, is to wish Barbara a uh, happy 92nd <laughs> birthday. And uh, the second is to honor her work, uh, which is, well, I don't know, how, how can I put this? Incomprehensible, self indulgent ivory tower, academic elitist, inflated factors, <laughs> insensitive, repressed, vulgar, self righteous, unrealistic, uninspired, meaningless, magical, stupid, worthless, so called art. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know I am. I mean, honestly, I don't even know anything about art. I am so unqualified to be here. I mean, I could have gone online and searched for, you know, like the meaning of art. I could have called Glenn Phillips, but I didn't do any of that. I really don't know why they asked me. I mean, sir, sir, well, actually, I do know. I know why they asked me. I, and you, you want to know why I'm here? Yes. yes. I'm here because Barbara Smith is one of my dearest and closest friends. Throughout our friendship, Barbara and I have shared some of our deepest fears and some of our highest hopes. She has been a mentor, a colleague, a collaborator, and also an inspiration. 
For decades, Barbara's work has offered all of us new ways to see and experience what art can be. And one of the most profound aspects of Barbara's work is a spiritual journey that she has bravely taken. So if Barbara doesn't mind, I'd like to share a very moving experience that we shared together. It was a few years ago that Barbara invited me to join her on a spiritual quest. She took us to a remote and very beautiful monastery in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. On the first night we arrived, all the holy men got together, the monks and the friars, and they made a delicious fish and chip dinner. It was so good that Barbara went back into the kitchen and asked one of the holy men, are you the fish fryer or the chip monk? <laughs> okay, well, all right, well, Glenn's giving me the signal that I've gone over my time. So I just want to say we've had a lot of fun together. And in wrapping up, I'd like to thank Glenn Phillips and Pietro Rigolo and, of course, the Getty Research Institute and all the other great museums in Los Angeles for reminding us that success, real success, makes us all white and straight. <laughs> so Barbara, happy birthday, I love you, and remember, club sandwiches, not baby seals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I came here to entertain, and that's so what am I gonna do? <laughs>